Wheel of Gotham and you should too. Today we're going to be talking about some fun facts about the show Gotham. Our first fact is that Wayne Manor may look a bit familiar to Batman fans. That's because it's the same building that they used in Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. It's the Webb Institute in Glen Cove, New York. We all know Selina Kyle is destined to become Catwoman, so of course the creators of the show gave her the iconic goggles from Catwoman's costume. The creator of the show has also added in many iconic villains from the comic series, but how do they decide who to follow more closely? Easily, they go with what the views want. If a particular character is becoming popular, they will start to follow that character more closely. Jade Pinkett Smith is the actress who played Fish Mooney, and she really got into her audition for the role. She came dressed in character and she brought her own prop, a shirtless man on a leash with the word liar written across his forehead. Needless to say, she got the job. The actor who plays Alfred is Sean Pertwee, and he's taking up the family business of acting. His father was none other than John Pertwee, aka the Third Doctor. And yes, I know, I probably mispronounced his last name. Robin Lord Taylor, who plays the Penguin on the show, has a trick to keep his iconic limp. He puts a bottle cap into his right shoe. It causes him enough pain, making him walk uneasy, allowing him to keep up the limp. You can actually keep up in the latest news of what's happening in the city of Gotham. They created a fake news website called the Gotham Chronicle that you can actually go to and check it out. Ben McKenzie, the actor who plays Jim Gordon, asked if he should sport the iconic mustache, but they decided that it would just look silly, and the Jim Gordon on the show isn't mature enough to have that kind of a stash. It has been 46 years since a version of live-action Gotham has graced the small screen. The last time was between 1966 and 1968, when Adam West portrayed Batman. The show's creator also wanted to make their own world, and that's why we aren't given a specific time period. They use cell phones and computers, but they're dressed towards a 1950s look. Arkham Asylum is actually filmed in a real hospital. They filmed the scenes in the Bailey Seton Hospital on Staten Island. It's a psychiatric and social services outpatient hospital. And finally, the Joker. Now, Jerome was supposed to be the Joker, at least that's what they told us, but then we found out that they lied. They have stated that a real Joker will show up, but we don't know when. There are apparently going to be many minor characters that could be the Joker, but aren't. And they will all show Joker-like characteristics, such as what Jerome did, and how he inspired various other characters to act like the Joker. Those are our fun facts about Gotham. Do you know any other fun facts that we might have missed? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time right here at CTV.